Demi Okolawo, Stan Inze, Hermes, and others grace Domitella movie premiere. The first thing when nobody go clear you about is our shower, aka night nurse worker. Now say they ready to sky be. Castalafi boss at any time. The Nigerian movie industry was once again sparked up on Saturday at Filmhouse Cinema Lekki Lagos with the premiere of much anticipated movie Domitila. Domitila, which is set to be released in cinemas across the country on April 7th, highlights women who hope to make something out of a life of prostitution. The movie, which explores some gothic characteristics, features some of Nigeria's finest actors such as Deyemi Okolaon, Stan Inze, Teniola Ladishi, Ejiro Onojefe, Onyinye Odokoro. Other celebrities present were Toby Makinde, Hermes, Sophia Lakija, amongst others. Here are highlights of the evening. I'm really, really, really excited. Literally, feels like my birthday. <laughs> I mean, just, just that feeling. I mean, when you make a film and everyone is out, to see that film, yeah, it's quite a big deal. Um, a lot of intrigues. I'm sure people would have fun, you know. Yeah, you have um, things that we can, I mean, relate to. Everybody can relate to the typical Ashao story, you know. But most importantly, we had lessons, you know. Not just saying, oh, Ashao, Ashao. But we had, you know, actual lessons that people would relate to and can learn from. Magic. I'm expecting Domitila, you know, because we know Domitila. So I'm expecting to see sexy girls long fingers, cute faces, that kind of thing. This one will be those basically muskia shower story we don't hear before. To be honest, I, I'm, I'm excited and a little nervous to... Like, this is a responsibility, yeah? Um, this title, Domitila, is 28 years old and is known by Nigerians who were 5'10 and now they're in their 40s. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, no, no, well, they, they were 10 or 15, and now they're in their 40s, and they want to see what we are doing with this reboot. So being, being in the cast, it's, it's a weight on our shoulders, but we hope that we carried it, you know, and we're looking forward to the, res to, to the response of the audience. Very excited. Many reasons. My wife produced Domitila. I starred in Domitila. It's by my family film One Tribe TV, Zebe Jiro. I worked with Ace Director, Zebe Jiro. I happen to now be the actor with the most remakes and sequels and everything. Right to Snake Diana Story 1. Secondly, Aki and Popo. And right now, Domitila, the reboot. Give it up for Stan and Zay! Why were you not clapping? <laughs> such an amazing material, such a great script. Um, it was executed nicely. And you know, when people watch and do film, I know that people will say, oh, don't spoil our childhood memories. But that's what I also say to people forget, keep your side childhood memories and watch an interesting film right now. It's a reboot, it's not necessarily the first one. It might have a bit of similarities, so it might remind you about your childhood the film you saw while you were still a child but it's a different film it's got great acting still it's got a great better picture quality it's got better sound it's got great entertainment waiting else you define i think remaking this movie is absolutely important i, I think this is a good move in hollywood um there are lots of stories that were told in the past in setting lights i feel like people have evolved the situation has evolved and to tell the story from the here and now would help people relate even better with our stories this is our story this is a real life the reason why i came out here is so i can see how much depth to this lives because it's it's easy to just see the shallow and then the shallow expectation of what a sex worker is the expectation of who they should be or who we perceive them to be it's uh, it's it's almost impossible to see human beings that's where I come from, this kind of people who do this kind of work take care of an entire family. And this is a part of their life. But the only part that gets mentioned is sex work and I, I don't think that's wholesome enough. So I want to see how much depth this movie pours into these lives. It's our stories, they, they need to be told, so yes. I feel like um, there's a reason behind remaking this movie and I feel like um, um, the, the theme of the movie, the message that the movie passed across years ago is still relevant today. So yeah, I'm, I'm expecting the best. I'm, I'm, expecting, I'm expecting, you know, something awesome because again, the person who handled it years ago is the same person, you know, that has the story and directed it this time. So I'm excited to see a merger of what we had in Hollywood years ago with what is obtainable now so yeah thank you thank you
to all of you for coming to me. And I want to really thank my stars. These ladies, they are all wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. 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 And the guys, they are so wonderful. Great working with these young people. These people are great. But most, but most importantly, I want to thank Phil Wong. I want to thank also Phil Tribe, Mr. Moses, Mama Tope. Our love, love, I am. We call her Mama, Mama Domitila. <laughs> <laughs>